My mother was very religious. She grew up in the Church of God in Christ, which was what you would call the holiness movement. And it was, you know, the term was holy rollers. And we were not allowed to go to the movies, not allowed to uh, listen to secular music, not allowed to play sports. Uh, basically everything that I ended up doing in my life, I was not allowed to do. I was kind of saved by my high school because it was, it was a special school that allowed you to come because you had certain talents. And I had art ability. And one thing about being in this religious household is that I had a really vibrant imagination because we couldn't do anything else. So I would go to school and people would tell me about movies they saw and things that they were listening to and all this stuff. So then I would go home and draw it. So because I wanted to watch it so bad and be there so bad. And so I would start drawing. And I remember you know, one thing my mom did let me do was comic books. And so I would copy the comic books and the heroes and they had muscles. And I was like, one day I'm going to be like that. And in my whole young life, I knew I had to get out because I didn't want to be a part of this super hyper religious world. There were so many things I wanted to do. I had a lot of dreams. I had a lot of goals. Um, um, and one thing that was crazy is that my mother loved entertainment. She loved it. We used to sit around and watch the Carol Burnett show together as a family every Saturday night. And I remember watching her laugh, like looking at what made her laugh. What was going to, and she crack up at Carol Burnett. And I said, one day, that's me. Like, I'm going to make her laugh like that. So I would do things around the house. And I remember her, she'd be nursing black eye. And I would just dance in front of her. And she'd just start cracking up. And uh, in the middle of all that, that pain, I saw the ability that I had to make her laugh during all that. And I said, this is a power. In the middle of this kind of pain that she's just, she's literally in tears laughing at her son, you know? Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, this is how I'm going to get by this. We can get in the pleaser. Just mm -hmm. make everything better. This is going to cool everything out, right? And that was, that was most of my existence as a little, as a little boy growing up in Flint, Michigan.